Hi everyone, welcome to a quick barn vlog at the horse shelter. This is my outfit of the day. These are Yacht FEI Olympia breeches, a random gray shirt. Um, I made myself some tea because I knew I was going to be there for a while and you know I had to be prepared. I also brought water and some rice cakes and a lot of stuff you'll see. Um, this is just like normal black tea but it has a citrusy aroma. I put it in this Starbucks full themed thermos. Um, I also added milk. I love milk and black tea. It is literally the best thing ever. Um, this is what I brought for the horses. Uh, lots of snacks, obviously. And then I was on my way. It's very far away from my home, but I take the public transport and it actually leaves me like really close to the barn. So I have to walk like 10 minutes and I'm there. There were a few horses outside and as you can see they were in the arena which is why I couldn't lunch horses today. Um, but anyways, most of them were inside. This is the horse we're starting with. I'm gonna groom him because look at how dirty he is. As I mentioned in the previous vlog, it rained super badly and um, gray horses turn to black horses because they love rolling. So here I am picking out just some brushes and stuff to use. This is just like what they have there. Um, I only brought a hoof pick. That's the only thing I bought myself. Um, but in rest, these are the things that were already there. So I'm just starting out with, of course, picking out his hooves. That's what I usually start with when grooming any horse in general. And he's such a good boy. He always picks up his feet. And when he realizes that you're about to, you know, um, clean his feet, his hooves, he does it by himself. Like, you don't even have to ask for it when he sees you like trying to reach for his foot he already he's already picking it up he's one of my favorite horses here and he's just the sweetest boy i think he was a cart horse um before he came here he doesn't seem to have been abused you know abused horses act and behave a certain way even if they get used to humans again after being abused and as i said he picks his feet up by himself so i also think it was pretty well cared for obviously i don't know these things but this is like just what i can tell from the way he acts around me um but he's just the sweetest boy he loves licking everything he sees and i don't know his age but i think he's definitely over 16 at least his name is Mishu, by the way. I know it can be a bit hard to pronounce or it sounds weird because it's a Romanian name, but I'm gonna leave it on the screen so you can kind of try to pronounce it. By the way, now I'm using a stainless steel curry comb. Then I'm gonna use a dandy brush. And lastly, I use a body brush. That's kind of the routine. And then lastly, lastly, is the mane and tail comb by the way i know he's not very clean at the end but you have to remember it is winter and gray horses plus winter are not a great combination and also these horses are not ridden so obviously i'm not trying to get him to look you know very presentable i'm just trying to maintain his health during summer they're obviously gonna get washed a lot but for now this is all i could do <laughs> Before I groom a horse, I like to show the horse what they're being groomed with because we actually have an orange hoof pick at the yard and whenever someone's trying to pick a horse's hooves with it, the horse always thinks it's a carrot so that's why I try to show them first to show them that the thing I'm trying to groom them with is not edible. Um, I also try to make him look at the camera here but he was just not interested. Here I'm using the dandy brush and I try to get the dirt out of his body but it was just impossible. It was literally layers and layers and layers. The only thing that's gonna solve this is a shower which I obviously can't give them right now because I don't want them to freeze to death. I hope you hit me back cause I can't wait to see you. Everything's a vibe, the both of us who knew how fast things became. Now it feels so great I've been waiting oh so patient Now the colors on my room are changing Oh god this feels amazing Starting now with you and I don't mind You give me butterflies when you smile And it feels so good I just can't hide I wanna hold your 
by the way today was like five degrees i think and it was super windy so oh my god i was freezing even with that jacket on and i also had a plover underneath it Lastly, I'm using the body brush, which is a lot softer than a dandy brush, and then I'm brushing out his tail. I also brushed out his mane and his forelock, but I didn't film it. And after I'm done, um, he's going back in his stall, and I'm gonna bring out another horse, this time a mare. We obviously can't forget the treats and kisses at the end. I tried to do some stretches with apples with him, but he did not understand the idea, so I just gave up and gave him the apples normally. This is Artemis, the mare I was talking about. She's 22 from what I remember and she's also a Romanian sport horse. She did not want to pick up her feet as you can see, so after a few tries I just... Um, I, I gave up and I continued my normal grooming routine. As I said, just the stainless steel curry comb, the dandy brush and the body brush and the mane and tail comb at the end. And after I was also done with her, I put her back in her stall and it was time for um, their feed. So they got their feed and they got their hay. So I just let the horses eat and I didn't bring out any other horses after her. Here they are eating. So Artemis is in the left stall and in the right stall is actually her daughter. Um, her daughter's name is Chloe and she was actually born here at the shelter. Chloe is 11 and she's a Romanian sport horse crossed with something, I think Arabian or thoroughbred. This is the biggest barn, the one with the most stalls. And, and here is another one of my favorites. This is Noelle, a halflinger mare. And she was a lesson horse before she came here um, at a riding center that unfortunately closed down, which is why she came here. While the horses are having their breaks, I'm also having my own. And one of the workers made me a coffee and it was super good. And I just admired Artemis and Chloe while drinking it. I also spilled a bit on my jacket because Chloe tried to see what's in the cup and she kind of threw it on me, kind of. Um, but it's okay, I can wash the jacket. So then I sweeped a bit around the yard. Um, the wash bay especially was super muddy after I picked the horse's hooves in it. So yeah, I just sweeped around, you know. Um, this cat was all over me. I love her so much. She's like the sweetest cat I've ever met. She always jumps on me when she sees me. And lastly, we're just checking the water buckets and refilling the empty ones. Now it's time to go, so I'm taking off my chops and switching my boots for my Air Forces. I was actually supposed to return home with public transport, but some really lovely visitors drove me to the city center, which is obviously a lot closer to my home than the barn. So I was super thankful. Um, and after that, I just took a bus and I was home. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below in the comments if you enjoyed, and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!